black PS5 digital D brand D brand plates. You have the flaming toast decal, light decal to put over the PS5 lights. This is a sunset strip from red to yellow. In the middle, you got the D brand um decal to matte black to to finish up the matte black plate you have PS5 controllers rubber grips button risers from flaming toast diamond button to uh, riser tips with other riser tips right there because these buttons are too flush so I put these button risers on it so make button pressing it easier with the color PS5 logo or uh, PS logo in the middle this is from Amazon with the rubber grip I would suggest get the rubber grip it feels good um, keep your hands from getting sweaty these are for like the when I'm playing like the Call of Duties or stuff like that you know sweatiness gets a little sweaty um, yeah, the charger from Amazon but the star of the show is the Cosmic Red and the Midnight Black PS5 controllers. Again, with button risers for Flaming Toast to make pressing it easy. That's why that button looks different from the controller. With these rubber grips also from Amazon. Color PS5 logo. PS logo, sorry, from Flaming Toast. They give it to you all in a package. This, this, and, and if you order the button risers, they come in like a little card all together. I can show you. Yep. Button mashers. I'm gonna put these on these controls later on. But they help. This could focus in. Yeah, but you put them over the buttons and it just makes it pressing the button a lot easier. You don't have to press down hard, you know, wear out your buttons. Um, but they're great. But the dual sense controllers are awesome. Let me show you why. See the green ring? Let me show you the game that I'm playing. This is the PS5 um, version of the Avengers. So I got it on the Hulk, so the controller has turned green to show that I'm on the Hulk. So if I switch over to, let's say, Black Widow, who is red, controller now turns red. Let's say I switch over to Hawkeye, you see his color, purple. Controller now turns purple. This is why I say, in my opinion, the PlayStation will beat out the Xbox in the long run because these controllers do stuff like this, immerse you in the game. Plus, what people don't fail to realize is that these controllers bring home that arcade experience. Like if you played arcade games, Time Crises, any of those shoot up games, those games that give you force feedback. This is what these controllers do. These controllers give you that feeling without being tethered to the machine. You have that feeling now from the arcade in your home. Xbox doesn't do that. It's just the same old controller. And I'm not a fanboy of PlayStation. I have an Xbox here, two controllers. I don't have the new system, I have the old one. The One X. I don't see no reason to upgrade to the new system because they don't have no exclusives. And I've been enjoying AV games like Ratchet and Clank, Returnal, all that stuff on the PS5. It's a damn shame that both those systems came out at the same time and one system has games and the other doesn't. And if it was the other way, I would be on Xbox saying the same thing about PlayStation. So don't think I'm a fanboy of thing. I'm just keeping it real. I've been playing games since Sega Master System.
And if you want to keep it real, I've been playing games since Atari. Yes, that's how old I am, but I'm not that old. I'm not in my 50s. I'm not even over 45. But I've been playing games for a long time. I can tell you this. This controller stands out like many others in past video game history. Like the Nintendo 64. Like the Dreamcast. Like the Nintendo Wii. And now you have this. These controllers are ground baking. The system alone is next gen. But this truly right here makes it next gen. You play Returnal. You play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. You know what I mean. You play any other game that has games that's designed around this controller. Not third party games, but specifically designed around the controller. The haptic feedbacks are incredible. And this is why I think Xbox is going to lose out in the long run. Because this controller does cool shit like this. Sorry for cursing. But it does cool stuff like this. And when they release a patch so you can customize your LED to whatever you want. So, like, if you're not playing games like this that give you color options like this to reflect who you're playing on your controller... It's, 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 it's over. It's over. But, but Xbox needs to get something on this level of haptic feedback or something close to it. Because if they don't, I'm, I'm not upgrading my Xbox. There's no reason to. I'm going to stay with my 1X and live in 30K and play the, play the pass, the game pass, and play those whatever games that come out to it because like you said even if I don't have a thing system uh, a new system they're going to be streaming games the new games over the service so why would I invest something in a new system when they're going to be streaming so uh in the long run I think Sony is going to win cuz like I said look at this if you think this is dope look at what think about this is what I did to mine. Think of what people are going to do to theirs when you could change these fan jets right here. Probably turn them to gold or something or metallic or silver or put LED lights on them. What's going to happen then? This is, this is look at this. You cannot tell me this is not a beautiful system. This is how the PlayStation should have came out in black. And with the black controllers these controllers oh yeah I'm gonna spray paint my white plates to match these red ones so I can flip them so picture this is gonna be red and this these plates red and this black oh that's gonna look sick that's gonna look sick but anyway this is my dual sense midnight black cosmic red review look at that black and purple